Hey everybody, it's your boy Jaminator, I'm back with another Pokemon video. Uh, today I just got back from Good Games in Spring Hill, played some Pokemon cards in a tournament up there. Got second place out of 14 people, and unfortunately I just missed out on first place. And um, the reason for that is the player <laughs> I was up against where I tied was playing Lost Box and we got to our third match and I just needed one more turn to win but they were just stalling and taking five to ten minute turns and taking a really long time to win the game which is quite frustrating but because it's just a locals and it's a fun event I didn't call a judge but I think what I'll take away from this is if there is any tournaments I go to where there are like prize money on the line or championship points you should definitely call a judge for slow play if someone is doing that um, because those slow turns could end up costing you a game if you are only one turn away from winning. Anyway, I thought I would just catch up with all of you guys and show you what I've been up to. Picked up a few new cards tonight. This is a magic card. I was helping the guys at the store sort through all their bulk for a couple of customers and they gave me this and it's only like a dollar or something. But I didn't notice this, that magic cards actually have texture like full art Pokemon. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that holographic, it's actually got texture on it as well. That's a bit easier to see here. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's not worth a lot, but it's my first ever magic card and from a place that I love to go to. So that was that one. And then I did pick up from my prize packs for coming second, I got this Full Art Gita. So that's going in the collection from Obsidian Flames and another Scizor. Now this is a really cool looking card. They look like they're fighting each other in combat, but the art style looks like it's been hand painted. Really awesome illustration. I love these illustration rare Pokemon. I'm not gonna do a master set of any of these. Um, I just don't really find it enjoyable opening up packs and trying to complete these master sets, especially when you see the prices of them tank so quickly. Like these Charizards are just not really worth much anymore and they're like the hardest to get in the set. Anyway, I've also picked up this in a trade for one of a new friend I met at Good Game Spring Hill. And I love this artwork of Chi UX. It's not a very good card, for playing the game, but the art is fantastic. I love it because you can't tell if he's swimming in the ocean, in like a lake, and he's underwater and the, the sun's coming through the water, or is it in a garden and is it floating above and these are trees? You just have no idea, it could be either. Because this fish is actually a spirit and it's fire type, so it can't actually go under the water. But it could, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this fish is underwater and it's looking up through the algae and stuff at the surface? Or is this above and it's near a garden and there's the trees? What a fantastic piece of art this card is. So I picked up that one in a trade. And then the last one I got from Good Game Spring Hill, I bought this from the store. It's one of the few cards left I need to finish my Crown Zenith Master Set. It's Giratina, V-Star, and I'm going to take this out because the top loader gives it a little bit of glare and we can't really appreciate the beauty of this card. This is my second favourite card from the set. My number one favourite card from the set is going to be the Arceus, and I think that might be one of the best cards of the Sword and Shield block. But how pretty is this card? All that chaos, hand-painted on, wow. It's not, not hand-painted on, it's got a hand-painted style. All these green things over here, these symbols on the rock. Fantastic card. Now, the only thing wrong with this, this card is that it's a little bit off center, so the top's thicker. This is still, I think, 90% chance it's gonna score a 10 if I graded it, but I'm not going to. This is gonna be in the book master set. And we're gonna put that in, actually, yeah, we need to take this out because this is gonna go in the master set now. So I'll swap the sleeve with one I can actually put in, like that. 
And here we have our book so far. What's the set called? Crown Zenith, that's right. Here we have our Crown Zenith book. Now I might be able to pull the camera up a bit and you guys can see. Like that. I've actually got a decent chunk of this set done, so I need, just need to find some of these regular rares, sort through the bulk and find them. Um, but yeah, the whole set's pretty much finished. Uh, except for this reverse holo here, this reverse holo here, and that VMAX. I think there's a second Rayquaza VMAX. Um, that's a holographic or a non holization. Actually, yeah, these, these are all just non holos I need to sort and find. And then we come into the. Full Art Secret Rares, I need Elisa Sparkle here, and I think there's one more here, so, something goes in that one, and then we get that special art section, so you see this horse is all completed, all the special arts, the Galarian Gallery, they're so pretty, really, really nice cards, which one do I like the most, um, maybe the Lunatone. Actually, I like the Manaphy, but the Lunatone is pretty cool as well. It's got heaps of Pokemon in that. I like the Manaphy. Oh, they're all pretty nice. Over the page, these are all the textured ones. Got the Bibrel, and then I put these together. Even though they're not in number order in the book, I put them together because they build that picture. And then over here, we've got the full art. So I'm only missing Leafeon. Um... Something else goes there. What number is that? 44. It's probably a psychic type Pokemon. Oh, is it Drapion? I don't know. Drapion goes here. So this one's almost finished. Hatterene's Ashin. Drapion goes there. And then over here, we've got the Full Art Trainers. I just need the Irida. And then I believe here, the four gold cards go. So it's... 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Gal Galarian Gary Lee, Giratina. This is the first gold card I've got. Let's zoom in and have a look at that, how that looks in the book. Nice and clean. Beautiful. And then across the page, that's all finished. So this is all blank here. Did a good job on fix, finding some cards for this set tonight. And getting ready for a big weekend coming up in Pokemon card tournaments. If you guys haven't played the game, you should definitely check it out. So my last video I put up was Zarya's um, Arceus and Giratina deck. Very strong deck. And tonight I came second with my Champ Power Max Scalibur deck. I only made one change. If you want to go watch that video, it's the same deck list, but I took out one Ultra Ball and put in one extra Stadium. So there is now a...